Hi, I'm John Serba, MLive.com film critic. The new Fast and Furious movie, Furious 7, which, unlike The Magnificent Seven, is actually not about seven people acting out the adjective that best describes them. Uh, anyway, the movie debuts this week, and I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm not a fan of this franchise, which is heavy on action and light on anything else even remotely interesting. Thus inspired, I'm going to debut what will hopefully be a recurring feature here at MLive, John Serba's Greatest Slams, in which I'll perform live readings of choice lines from my past reviews. The first three Fast and or Furious movies came prior to my gig as film critic, so my trashing of Vin Diesel's hamstrung acting began with the fourth film, 2009's Fast and Furious. No doubt director Justin Lin is more interested in cars than people, focusing his time on races and crashes and smashes and explosions. And while the movie fulfills the need for visceral, highly improbable stunts and violent mayhem, be warned, Lin asks very little of his actors. Take Vin Diesel's impenetrable performance. You may confuse his soul-searching with constipation. Diesel's character, Dominic Toretto, makes friends with Giselle, a beautiful Mexican woman played by Israeli actress Gal Gadot, who seems to have learned her dialogue phonetically. But he's more interested in furrowing his brow over his exquisite inner pain, Metamucil may be the cure, than her come-hither glances. On to 2011's Fast Five. What does one expect from the fifth film in the Fast Furious franchise? A poignant exploration of the human condition? The screenplay, which consists of approximately 37 words, teases the inevitable third act showdown between Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Vin Diesel. Until then, we take the Pepsi challenge to determine which is the better actor. And guess what? It's Vin Diesel. While Johnson poses testosteronically like a man reminding us he used to be a professional wrestler, his counterpart shows a layer of emotion beneath his layers of beef. Granted, we expect tiny cinder blocks to tumble down Vin Diesel's tough guy cheeks during these vulnerable moments, but it's not like he's exactly Lawrence Olivier. On to 2013, Fast and Furious 6. <sighs> the old gang always gets back together, but in Fast and Furious 6, the group of outlaw race car drivers doesn't reconvene for one last score. They do it because that's what they do. Their desire for danger and adventure bonds them as a family. Their blood courses with oil. Their skin is chrome and steel. Their brains are gearboxes. Their rectums are tailpipes. Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez participate in a scowlathon. As past fast films have proved, few can frown beneath wrinkled brows like these two. When they share a scene later in the film, and he tells the stories of the various scars on her body to offer proof of their life together... Remember, Rodriguez's character has amnesia, as if this is a, a thing out of the bold and the beautiful. The overcooked intensity of the moment could melt the mountains of lead used to craft the dialogue. This has been John Serba's Greatest Slams. Thanks for watching.